So there's several capacitors here. Obviously this one is completely ruptured at the top. And over here, if we take a look at it at an angle, it's bulging a little bit. Same with this one over here. So this is a NVIDIA FX 5600 graphics card that was given to us for repair. And we're gonna be replacing all of these aluminum capacitors. So our first one right here is 470 microfarad 16 volts. So what I'm gonna do is start by adding some solder to both of our pins. And then with my tweezers, I'm gonna grab the capacitor from the other side and then melting both pins at the same time. And we'll yank it out. Now with my desolder wick, we'll go ahead and clear off all that excess solder. And it looks like I still have a little bit, so I'll finish cleaning it off from the top. So my replacement is not a through hole, but that's okay. We do have options for different types of components. There is the through hole option or the surface mount, which is the pads right here. So I can go ahead and do that. What we'll do is start by adding some solder to our negative pad first. And once we have the solder nice and molten, well, actually, you know what? Before I do that, I'm gonna add a little bit of flux. This flux always helps. All right, now that the solder is nice and molten, we'll go ahead and slide the component onto the pad. All right, and now I'm actually lifting the whole board using just the capacitor, so I know that I have good contact. And now we'll go ahead and solder the other side. Now we'll move on to the next, which is our 1000 microfarad 6.3 volts. And it is right over here. Same thing. I'm gonna be melting both legs at the same time. Kind of slipped out. All right, let's try again. This one seems to be giving me a little bit of a harder time. There we go. Now we'll call it two. Same thing, we'll go ahead and clean off the pads. Well, actually I'm realizing since I'm not actually using the holes anymore, I don't technically need to have the through hole be completely clear of solder. And I did want to point out, so this one actually wasn't ruptured or anything like the previous one. It's not actually bulging either, uh, but I am going to be replacing all of them per the customer's request. All right, so same thing. We'll go ahead and get our solder nice and flowing. Oh, and I always forget. We'll do our flux. So I'm realizing this one's actually much smaller than the original. So we don't need it to have it all the way at the end and so close to the other capacitor. All right, and we'll give it a quick little cleanup with our isopropyl alcohol and a toothbrush. And we'll also clean off the backside. So this is actually no clean flux, but even though it is, I do like to remove all the flux. Uh, I have heard on occasion that some of these more sensitive circuit boards can still be affected by the flux, especially over time. Uh, it might corrode. So I just want to make sure that everything's nice and clean after we do our repair. All right, so to do things a little differently, our next two over here, what we're going to do is use the desolder gun. So same as before, we'll go ahead and add some new solder first. Nope, we didn't quite get that one. All right, that looks better. So now, we should be able to wiggle this out. And we are, beautiful. All right, we'll do the same thing to the other one. Oh, and actually, the cap fell out and I didn't even have to uh, use the pump. Because the replacements we're gonna be using, we're not even gonna be using those holes. They are surface mount. We're gonna leave that as is. All right, and both of these were 6.3 volts, 1000 microfarads. So I just realized, because I'm looking at the, the pin here for positive, which then is over here, and the pin for negative that goes over here. So I know my negative is this red uh, shaded area over here. But if I take a look, there's actually a drawing here with sharp corners and then angled corners. And if you look at the component itself, it has that same design. So technically I don't actually have to look at it. I can just match the, the corners of the capacitor. Ok, 
Okay, so we have two more 6.3 volts, 1,000 microfarads. We'll do the same thing. We'll be using our desolder pump again. Just because that seems to be the most efficient way. And I think one of these will come out, the other one may not. Actually, it looks like neither of them are coming out. Oh, this one is. Perfect. Okay, and I think one of them, I actually need to add a little bit more solder. Yeah, it looks like this side over here is not quite molten. There we go. So we finished replacing all eight capacitors on the NVIDIA FX5600, uh, and this is the 256 megabyte version of it. Uh, if you found the content helpful or useful, leave us a like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.